I have just made a report to the president following the return of the teams which have been traveling through the drought area. Following my report, the president has today designated two additional states as disaster areas, namely the states of Oklahoma and Missouri. 102 counties in these states have been designated as disaster areas. There are other states that have requested that they be designated as disaster areas, some six of them. Maryland, Virginia, and other states nearby are among those. As the requests come in to the president to designate these states disaster areas, we'll of course begin our study immediately to determine the counties uh, in the state that may be eligible. procedure that the Senate is following is based on uh, both the American idea of fair play and justice and equity and on the precedence of the Senate. By the action taken by the Senate in referring this matter to a select committee, not only with the, will the procedures of the Senate uh, be followed, uh, but in addition to that we have cleared the decks for legislative action on the foreign aid uh, bill the Farm Bill, the Social Security Extension, and the Foreign Aid and uh, Supplemental Appropriation Bills, as well as a great deal of other important legislation. When do you think that Congress will adjourn? Well, I think the best guess based on the legislative program would be in about uh, two weeks. I hope it will recommend action against Senator McCarthy. I am very deeply afraid, however, that nothing effective will be done by the committee for a very, very long time, if at all. But whether it does take action or not, it, I will continue to fight in the Senate and outside of the Senate to protect the rights and the liberties of the American people by bringing to an end the infamous, the high-handed, the fear-mongering activities of Senator McCarthy, the apostle of fear and smear. And I am confident that in spite of all obstacles, we will win. It will give me an opportunity which I've never had before, and that is to answer all the scurrilous, defamatory, irresponsible charges made and put the people who make them under oath for the first time. Well, I'm not worried about the outcome. It will give me an opportunity to, I uh, hope, to cross-examine the senators who have been making these wild charges on the Senate floor. I find tonight some of them were objecting already that I might have the right to cross-examine them. Uh, I will promise the American people this, that if I have the right to cross-examine those senators, they will either indict themselves for perjury or they will prove what consummate liars they were by changing their story from the Senate floor the time they're under oath. But do you think this issue can be resolved by August 10th before we adjourn? I would say if the committee starts to work immediately, holds morning sessions, afternoon sessions, evening sessions, yes. Unfortunately, it's again going to hold up the work of our investigating committee, and we've got a vast amount of work to be done, but uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Would you be in favor of public hearings, Senator? I think all hearings uh, on this subject should be public. I don't think there should be any closed-door, uh, behind-the-door sessions. You'd welcome an open session in this case? Yes.
Pleasure, Lou. It's the happiest day of my life, and I appreciate all of you nice people coming out to give us such a wonderful send-off. Thank you for your prayers. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm likewise very happy and very grateful to all the people for all their kind wishes and all the kind and generous and wonderful things they've said to us and about us, and we shall never forget it. 